Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today, we're gonna be customizing the Benefactor Dubsta 2 in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys haven't seen the other video that I released today, it is a guide on how to actually get yourself a Dubsta 2 in Grand Theft Auto Online. So if you haven't seen that, I would recommend going and checking that out. Anyway guys, let's take this thing into the customization shop and get to work. All right guys, so starting off, we're gonna go all the way up on the armor, of course. For the brakes as well, we are gonna do the same. Now for the front bumper options, I personally personally don't really love having the bull bar and the winch or the bull bar with the winch and the lights. So I think we're going to go for the stock front bumper on this thing. For the engine, we are going to go all the way up on that, of course. For the exhaust, we have a couple of options. We have the dual titanium exhaust, although it shoots right into the uh, bar here. So I'm not really sure about that design choice. I feel like that might not be the best. Uh, we got the stock exhaust or of course the regular titanium. I think we will actually keep the titanium because it's just a little a little bit more detail towards the back of the vehicle, which I kind of like. So we're going to keep that. Now for the fenders on this thing, we of course have the option to add the snorkel or take away the snorkel. I personally think the snorkel is a pretty cool option. So I'm going to actually keep this on. Now for the hood, of course, we do have the off-road hood with the spare on by default we can go for the off-road hood or the stock hood which is what i'm going to opt for because this thing is not going to be too much of an off-roader i don't think so we're going to go for the stock hood next up for the lights we are going to go xenon of course for the plate we are going to go yellow on black of course as well and for the respray we are going to change this uh so obviously it comes in a gold which i believe is under the metals oh no it's not okay is this just under metallic i'm not really sure where that actually is anyway it comes in gold stock you can either get this thing off the street in gold or silver so one or the other really um oh my god that red is so bright on this thing kind of looks good though but i don't think that's what we're gonna go for today i think that i kind of want to go for a white on this thing because i don't have a white dubs to two either i want to go for a white or like maybe a pretty dark gray sort of color I do actually want to go for a matte color on this thing because for some reason the Dubsta 2's paint sort of looks weird when it's in a metallic, so I don't really love the look of uh, anything but matte on a Dubsta 2. I mean, it, it can look okay, don't get me wrong, but I just kind of like the look of, uh, of the matte a little tiny bit better. So there's quite a few colors that we can go for with this thing. I almost like foliage green though. That looks really good in my opinion. That's definitely something I'm going to consider. Uh, we have Desert Tan, which is what I have my other dubs to do in already. I do really, really like the Ice White though. So I think I'm actually gonna go for Ice White because it's gonna really make the black badges that are on this thing stand out a lot more, which I do really like. So we're gonna go for that. For the roof, of course, we can remove the roof rack if we want to. Uh, you can have the roof rack with the spotlights or the roof rack by itself, or of course, no roof rack. I kind of like the roof rack look on this thing, I'm not gonna lie, and I do like the spotlights, so I think we will be keeping that. For the suspension on this thing, it is lowered all the way, which I don't really like. I personally think the dubsta should be a little bit higher. I actually wish there was an option to raise the suspension on this thing, but unfortunately there is not. So we're going to go for that. Race transmission, of course, the turbo as well for sure. Now for the wheels. Now, typically what I do for this thing is I go for the concave mega mesh because I feel like these rims look so good with this car. However, I'm not sure today. There are quite a few good, uh, good looking rims in the game that we could probably go for and uh, this thing would look pretty decent I feel like so we're gonna take a little bit of a look around I almost like the mercy concave I think those look really good actually so that's something I'm considering for sure we also do have off-road tires that we could put on this thing however I don't really think that it matches the overall look of the car so I don't think we're gonna be going for any off-road sort of rims here of course under the track rims we do have a few more crazy looking options in here However, I don't really think there's any that I really love that much. I mean, the Super Lux are like kind of good looking on this thing. I almost like them enough to put them on, but not quite. So guys, I kind of hate to be boring, but I think I am actually going to go with the Concave Mega Mesh because I just feel like they're the best looking rim for this vehicle. In my opinion, obviously you guys might not agree with that, but I think that they just look so good. And in black too, they also just look really, really good. However, I was almost thinking about going with a different color for these. I was thinking about maybe even going with like a straw brown or like a copper or something like that maybe a bronze bronze kind of looks good too i don't know why but i kind of like that look 
However, I think that I am just gonna have to go for black because it just is so clean looking. So we're gonna go for that. We are gonna put bulletproof tires on this thing, of course. And last but not least, we are gonna tint the windows out. And of course, with the tinted windows, you do get a semi-tinted front windshield on this thing, which is a really, really cool feature. So we're gonna put that on for sure. Anyway, guys, that is it for that. Let's take this thing outside. We're gonna do a sound test and a review. All right, guys, here we are outside. Let's get into the sound test for this thing. Really doesn't sound the best. It's uh, it's not bad, but it could could be better. That's for sure. However, it is an SUV, so I'm not exactly expecting this thing to sound, you know, absolutely crazy or anything like that. Now, the Dubsta is not exactly known as being a super fast SUV. It's more of a slow sort of casual one. And really, I feel like the Dubsta just achieves looking really good as like being its sort of party piece, I guess. The performance is just not really there. However, it's not the slowest vehicle ever, and I gotta say, I do really, really like the Dubsta's handling. Both the Dubsta 1 and the Dubsta 2 have identical performance to my knowledge. I don't think that either one is faster than the other. So there's really no performance difference between the 1 and the 2, which is uh, maybe a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to see maybe the Dubsta 2 be a little bit faster, maybe more of like an AMG version of a G-Wagon. However, it's fine. I I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me that much, honestly. Overall, the Dubsta 2 is a pretty solid vehicle. Like I said, the handling of this thing is quite good. I really have no complaints about the handling of the car. And honestly, speed-wise, like, yes, it could be faster. However, it is plenty fast enough for what the vehicle is actually capable of, I feel like. So I really have no complaints with this thing at all. Overall, it's just a solid SUV. And I forget if I've mentioned it or not yet in this video, but this vehicle is actually quite rare in Grand Theft Auto Online. It does take a decent amount of effort to actually get one of these, so having one, and especially it looking as good as it does, it definitely gives this car a bit of a cool factor in comparison with the regular Dubsta 1, and all the subtle little details that are different with the Dubsta 2 versus the Dubsta 1. There are several little tiny features that actually will add up to make this thing just a little bit more desirable than the Dubsta 1, I think. Overall, I have no complaints about this vehicle whatsoever. You guys should definitely go and check out the other video that I made today showing you guys how to actually get the dubs to two in Grand Theft Auto Online if you haven't seen it already. I would definitely recommend picking one of these things up and I will have a video out later in the week going over the differences between the dubs to one and the dubs to two in case you guys are unsure whether or not you actually really want to try to get one of these things or not. Anyway guys, I think that is pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like is appreciated. However, if you did not enjoy it, dislike of course. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.